Today we are going to cover on content creation. Some of you find that it is uh, challenging to actually upload content into your various um, website, YouTube, social media um, platforms, etc. So in this video, I'm going to show you how do I take recordings from my Vimeo, Vimeo account and then download them to YouTube and prepare them to be uh, repurposed for content creation in YouTube, in Facebook and other social media platforms. So this is what I'm doing right now. I will show you what's being worked on. So this is my Vimeo account. As you can see from my Vimeo account, I have different categories of information. However, because I have so much information here, I would want to transfer all this into my YouTube account, which then I can repurpose more videos over there. So let's take an example of my testimonials. There are, there are many testimonials over here. So perhaps I will pull up the testimonials that I want to use over permanently. So what I do is, in order to get this information downloaded, I would have to go to my Vimeo account, the video itself. And what I can do is I can go under the button here and I can change all the setup. So you can see that it's private. I can go into the advanced setting. And what I do is I want to allow this for download. Why? So that I can download from my Vimeo account and then save it into a hard drive. And once you save it into the hard drive, then I can upload into my YouTube. At the same time, I'm also storing a backup copy in my hard drive. So let's get on with this. You see there's a download button here. We just press download. And typically, I choose 1080p okay, in terms of the resolutions. So once this is uploaded, you can wait a moment. In the meantime, I can open my YouTube account. And this is my YouTube account. And what are my videos? I will just turn to my videos. You can see in the back end, there are different playlists. Yeah, real estate, entrepreneur journey, uh, testimonials. Of course, I do other stuff as well. And I also store away raw footage here, as you can see. This raw footage, once I put, upload here, it is unlisted. Unlisted means that it's not available to anyone. It is like my storage space. This is public. Public means it's being um, already posted. So let's just have a look at these testimonials. So you can see all the various that I've already uploaded. Okay, so what happens to this video that is downloaded now, successfully downloaded in my system? You can see at the back here, I've already downloaded. So what I want to do is I'm going back again to where I came from, which is my own library, which is my own videos. And I'm going to download this into the unlisted because I'm actually going to work on um, editing before this is put up. So over here, you can see this is a raw footage. So how do I then upload? There is this plus button on the top right hand corner. You click plus over here. Okay. Plus. Hmm. Let me see why is it not working. Okay, create. Perhaps because I'm sharing the screen now. So um, sometimes there's glitches. Don't worry about it. And I would want to go to back to my dashboard. Go to. Because this is under YouTube Studio. So go back to the main screen, upload. 
and I believe is being uploaded at the back. Okay, so I'm going to share, stop share for a while, and I'm going to share with you how then do you upload again. I'm just exiting so that perhaps uh, my screen will work better. I'm going to bring you to my screen too, so that you can see how it's been done. Okay. Now I'm actually sharing on my screen too. Okay. As you guys can see now, okay, I'm going to share my screen again. It's because it's working again. So under here, we can create. Oh, interesting. It was just working before I share screen. So perhaps it's just not working because I'm sharing screen. So let me just bring you back again. And let me do what I need to do first. I will send you to my screen too. Let's see whether it works on screen too. So I will share my screen too. This is my screen too. And over here, it is the YouTube studio that I'm in now. I can go back to the dashboard and create. Now it is appearing upload videos. And over here, I upload a video which I just downloaded from my hard drive, upload. And once it's uploaded, I can change the title. So I can write a description. Uh, now I would not uh, cover that for now. Uh, okay, I will cover this over here. So I will write joins. <clears throat> uh, please meet your mic. So it's uploading a thumbnail. So upload the thumbnail if you have created one. In this case, I did not create one. So I'll just use the same one. So I can select my playlist. In this case, it's just a test um, as in uploading to share you, with you guys at the same time because I'm doing a uh, backend editing. So I'll just upload first to show you guys. And then I typically will choose that it's not made for kids. Okay. And then you just move, move next, next, next. And because this is a, a private unlisted copy, so I'm giving access to people with a link because this is a this is one that I'm going to put out on my resources for those who want to learn how to use YouTube for content creation. So I'm putting under unlisted here and I save. And just within a few seconds you can see it's already uploaded so how can i share this link i can just copy this link hey stella i just wanted to give you an update uh... so i can just copy this link and then close it i can post wherever i want and this is this is already here so if i go to my playlist okay and i refresh this because it's just uploaded you can see it has turned to one. So meaning there is one clip here. So as you can see, it is still not yet done with the processing. That's why there's no picture here. Otherwise, the picture will show here. So this is how you can upload one video that I've done before. Upload it in your system and then repurpose it. Okay. So this is my sharing of how do you upload a Vimeo recording into a video in YouTube. Then you can actually repurpose it in YouTube and then send it out. And because it's very safe in YouTube, you can then also share it in other areas.
all right so that's uh for this simple uh teaching how to use this uh, join me in the next clip because i will share with you on how to uh, do other technical work simply and cre create content all over the place without spending a lot of time uh, doing content creation bye for now